Hi everyone, it's Raquel. Welcome to Up to Speed. If you remember the last time I was here, it was to remind you to check out our newest Next 20 episode. Well, we've got another one today airing at 3 p.m. Eastern Time on our Up to Speed Twitter page on climate change. Let's take a sneak peek. They showed me the landfills that they were regulating, so I saw a lot of photos and yeah, I was like, these look like golf courses, you know, why aren't we growing food on top of them? And they're like, don't bring that up, but we would never do that, you know? <laughs> so naturally, I was like, I'm going to figure out how to do that. And I had a lot of people that would just tell me, like, you're wasting your time, that's not going to work, right. you've already waited a year just to get permission, you know, you could have been doing all these other things. Um, but I, I was really stubborn, you know, I was like, I really want to try this out. Um, it's so much space. I worked with so many farmers who were in so much debt, I really felt for them. Mm. Um, so, you know, I, I didn't care. How do you keep your head in the game and, and not feel paralyzed by the, the scope of what needs to be done and instead uh, use that to fuel yourselves and, and keep pushing? What is that? Where does that come from? What keeps the fire burning for, for you guys? Honestly, it's the people around me, the people that I love. Nice. I do this work because it's a survival tool, but it's also right. an act of love and it's an act of service uh, for the community and the people that I love. Now onto something I would have loved as a child. We've got the new Disney edition Gizmo watch ready for pre-order on November 12th. The new watch comes with a front-facing camera connecting parents with their children, complete with fun Disney character backgrounds from Elsa to the Mandalorian. Okay, so this is a huge upgrade from the walkie-talkie that I was using as a child. I think it's perfect for the upcoming holiday season, so if you want to take advantage of that pre-order, make sure you do so on the My Verizon app or online. And now for another installment of My Why, straight from the good mailbox, we've got Verizon Business Group's Shalana Robbins, who is a trailblazer for women of color in tech and uses her free time to give back to veterans. For Shalana, this is personal. She's got a father, grandfather, and husband who are all Air Force veterans. Take it away, Shalana. I'm Shalana Robbins. I'm the Technical Solutions Director for Business Government Customer Operations, BGCO for short, in Salt Lake City, Utah. Whether that's voice and data, private network, unique solutions, we do it all. My favorite thing to do in my spare time is be with my family. I also really enjoy gardening. We have massive flower beds, and then we also have six garden boxes, so I grow whatever I can. Before I joined Verizon, a number of people were talking about this new company, Verizon, and how great it was. And I thought, you know, maybe I'll give it a try. I loved it. And here I am, 18 years later like inspires me every day, especially as a director of people, is helping people, right? I do have a special place in my heart for veterans. My father, my husband, and my grandfather were in the Air Force. So with Verizon, we have a platform called Veterati that we contribute to. We offer mentors for veterans across the United States. They've sacrificed a lot for our freedoms. And Verizon is a huge veteran employer. It just makes me proud all the way across the board. In the BGCO in Salt Lake City, I'm the first woman director. I'm the first woman director of color. And then on top of that, I'm a woman in tech. I get to be that example to women, especially in women of color. You can achieve anything that you set your mind to if you have the right kind of advocates and you put the work in. Very proud of that accomplishment. I'm actually a really good singer. And no, I will not demonstrate it, but I do appreciate you asking. <laughs> If you want to be part of an industry disruptor, a very transformational company, but a people-oriented company that doesn't lose sight of its humanity, those are the, the reasons that I think Verizon is unique. I love that about the company, and it's the reason that I tell people that they should come to Verizon. Wow, thank you, Shalana, for all you do for those who have served our country and will continue celebrating later this week on Friday at 12 p.m. Eastern Time, live with Tammy and Ronan. We'll hear from guests from the Wounded Warrior Project, an organization that supports our nation's severely wounded veterans and active duty service members. Make sure you visit our volunteer portal today to sign up for their virtual walk for wounded warriors and get your volunteer hours in. 
Well, folks, that's all I have for you today. Thank you so much for watching. Until next time, you're up to speed.